This is the Anchor 747 Gam Prime 150 Watt Series 7 Charging Brick. The last charging brick you will ever own in your life. And I have it in my hands. Everyone, Anchor has outdid themselves once again. Hello everybody and welcome back to Bizarre Repairs and Reviews. And like the intro said, I got the Anchor Gam Prime Gallium Nitrate Active Shield Power IQ and Stack Design Charging Brick from Anchor. So, as you may or may not know, Anchor has just released their new Series 7 Charging Bricks and these things are phenomenal. I got the uh, 150 watt one, which is uh, cost me about $100, and this thing is absolutely insane. It can charge four devices at one time, three USB-Cs, one USB-A, two fast charging devices at uh, one time. This thing is phenomenal. And if you're fast charging just one device, it can go all the way up to 100 watts. So let's get this thing unboxed, we'll take a look at it, and then we'll uh, we'll charge some devices and see if we can get all four of them to charge, and just kind of see what kind of speeds we're getting. I'm going to be doing a couple different videos on this, so today's video will just be the first to get it out there and uh, show some charging, and then uh, we'll move on from there. But enough of me talking, let's see what this gorgeous baby looks like. Oh my lord. And it's amazing. Let's peel it. Oh, there's the face. Oh, wow. There's the three USB-C ports, one USB type A up top. And this thing, it's heavy. It feels like a weighted brick. This is by far, hands down, the best charger on the market currently. So, Anchor, congratulations. You've outdone yourself again. All right, so let's get into it. So what we're going to do now is just check out the manual, just see if there's anything there we need to uh, look at, and then we're going to show you this other little cool piece that comes with the Anchor charger, and then we'll get it tested. All right, so let's look inside the manual here. just want to show you how you can have a USB-A and three USB Type-C ports, so you can see laptop to a uh, phone, tablet. But it does come with this rubber... Uh, sleeve which is pretty cool it makes it uh, makes it look pretty cool when you um, plug it into your uh, outlet not even sure what it's really for but it uh, actually looks pretty cool so check this out just kind of fits over has these little suctions on it feels like an octopus and then when you plug it in it just uh, stays in there but it looks really good uh, when it's in but enough playing around let's get this thing set up and tested all right, so now I'm just installing it in your standard wall outlet, and that's how it looks with its uh, rubber gasket around there. Looks pretty sleek, really cool. Never seen anything like that before. Well, definitely not on a charger. Okay, and these are the devices that I'm going to be charging. We got a 2021 MacBook Air. I have a that charges with USB-C, and it's probably at about 40% battery. That looks like. Uh, we got two cell phones, a uh, Samsung Note and an iPhone. The phones are about three to four years old. And the battery levels are 80% and 50%. And I have a GoPro that's at 46%. I'm sorry I couldn't get the Samsung phone down lower. Now, ideally, you want these uh, batteries low, like 20%, 30 40 so it can charge a lot faster. I just didn't have the time today to get the uh, Samsung Note down lower. All right, so let's go ahead and plug in our four devices. So there's our USB-A to C connection, and then all the rest of these will be USB-C to USB-C. I did have to swap out one of the cables below, as you'll see in a second, because I just had the wrong one. I had an Apple cable when I needed a USB-C to C. All right, now we're going to plug them all in. So here's our first device there. That's the Apple MacBook Air, 
and then an iPhone, uh, the Samsung Note, and the GoPro. All right, and I downloaded a couple apps for the phones to try to monitor uh, the milliamps. So as you can see, it's starting to increase dramatically, and this battery is at 79%. So look at that, 2,040 milliamps. So it's obviously fast charging, excepting its maximum. Uh, this battery is at 49%, and it's getting uh, 13 milliamp hours, or 1,300. I'm sorry, milliamp hours, and it's uh, up to 15 there, and it does cycle back and forth. And then uh, I don't have anything to test the MacBook Air, but you can definitely see that it is charging. So I will assume that it's fast charging, obviously. And then the GoPro is charging as well. Looks like 36%. So this does show you that all the devices are charging. I can at least prove that two out of the four are fast charging. I'm pretty sure they all are. Um, it just uh, depends on uh, how fast. All right, so after about uh, 10 minutes or so, I just wanted to check the battery output. So I went over ahead and checked the battery on the MacBook Air. We're at 55%. Um, just checking the GoPro again, seeing what we're at there. So what I'm going to do now is just connect, disconnect two devices. I just want to see, because it's advertised that two devices will fast charge uh, pretty much at their maximum. Um, so you can charge two laptops at the same time uh, fast charging so I got the uh, iPhone plugged in it's already at 79 percent which is great and look at the uh, laptops already at 66 percent so these things are just flying this is amazing so what I'm going to do next is disconnect the iPhone just to allow the laptop to charge on its own I think you can get a maximum of 100 watts per one USB-C. So now it's about 7.12 p.m. And you can see the Mac is already at 77%. It is just flying. And don't mind the estimate there. Uh, that doesn't seem to be dropping that much. But you can see the battery percentage is going up dramatically. And that is the Anchor 747 GAN Prime 150 watt wall charger. This thing is a game changer. You're going to see, um, and the price will probably start to come down. A lot of other competitors are probably going to try to copy uh, the technology. And you know what? We need more. Um, elegant design. Nice. This is going to be used daily. Now, I do plan on doing another video at another location with um, a couple tablets and a couple cell phones as well. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. You guys, please like, comment, subscribe. I'll put the link in the description, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.